Hello, my name is Brian Streeter. I'm culinary director at Cake Bread Cellars. This month's recipe is pappardelle, pasta, wide ribbon noodles with duck bolognese and Tuscan kale. Sometimes it goes by the names of cavolo nero or dino kale as well, but we got kale growing in our garden, so I thought it was a good way to use that. And it's also, more importantly, a way for us to highlight our Two Creeks Pinot Noir. Why we're really excited by, the only place that we own vineyards outside of Napa is in the Anderson Valley, and we have two parcels up there planted solely to Pinot Noir. Fabulous wine, goes great with this dish. We've got duck legs here. This is actually a Peking duck a breed of duck, which are a little bit smaller than like a Muscovy, which depending upon your butcher, your grocery store might carry one or the other. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna trim off the fat that's here. And we're gonna season these on both sides with salt and pepper. Now we're gonna cut up onions and carrots and celery, and you're gonna mince it really, really fine. The idea behind bolognese is that the vegetables sort of melt down into the sauce. Now we'll mince the celery. Carrots. Cut them into segments that are sort of manageable. And we've got our chopped uh, pancetta, pancetta being pork belly that's unsmoked. And then I need a little bit of garlic. So I'm going to chop the garlic. Now we'll pick the parsley leaves, get rid of the stems. And now we're chopping parsley. Got a heavy bottom pan with a nice wide bottom, a little bit of olive oil, and we're gonna put this in the pan, skin side down. Yeah, you wanna make sure that the pan that you choose is big enough so that you don't crowd the duck legs too much. You wanna have a little bit of space in between them so that they'll brown. Turn them over, to be nice and brown on the skin side. Be nice and brown on both sides. I'll remove them from the pan. We'll add the pancetta to the pan. We're gonna add our finely minced carrots, celery, and onions to the pan with our pancetta to wilt down till nice and soft. You can add in a pinch of salt at this point. This helps pull out the moisture out of the vegetables so that they wilt down a little quicker. Our veggies have wilted down probably to a quarter of their original volume. We'll add in the garlic and the chopped parsley. Stir that around a little bit to release the aromatics. We'll add in a couple teaspoons of tomato paste. We're also going to add a little bit of canned tomato, this plum peel puree, with a little bit of white wine. This helps deglaze the bottom of the pan, any little brown bits that might be clinging to the bottom. We're going to release that with the tomato product and the white wine. That's starting to thicken up. I'm going to return the duck to the pan uh, with a little bit of chicken broth, just to barely cover. And then uh, also I'll throw in a sprig of sage. And we're gonna put a tight fitting lid on top of this and simmer it really slowly on top of the stove for about an hour and a half until the duck almost wants to fall off the bone. We've got kale, this is cavolo nero and it's got this big central vein that you wanna discard. So I'm just sort of pulling that out and tearing it up into a few pieces. So add a little bit of salt to the water, season it. Once this comes to a boil, drop our kale in here. This is just going to help wilt it and then preserve the bright green color of it. Just cooking it for not even a minute. Just really want to wilt it. Okay, and then I'm going to drain this. Then once that's cool, I'm going to squeeze out all the moisture out of it. So it's been about an hour and a half. You can see ducks starting to pull away from the drumstick. Should be nice and tender. I'm gonna remove from the sauce. You know, I'll let this cool down. And then once it's cool enough, we can take it off the bone and chop it and add it back to our sauce. While we're waiting to cool down, I'm gonna continue to reduce this so it starts to thicken up a little bit more. Kale, it's been blanched and squeezed. Just gonna chop it real fine. 
You want that to also sort of get evenly distributed through the pasta sauce as well. So I'm looking for it to be in smaller pieces. And then our duck legs should be cool enough now that we can handle them. All I want to do is pull the meat off the bone. Um, I'm leaving the skin on. If, if you so wish, you could take the skin off, but I think uh, it contributes a little bit more flavor to the final dish. While we blanched our kale and diced up our duck, it reduced down the, the broth of the sauce that it was cooking in. So it's thickened a little bit. Now we want to round out the flavors. I'm just going to add a little bit of milk. Maybe it's a quarter cup. And you want to simmer that down to thicken a little bit. And it just helps to round out the flavors, extends them, gives a little bit more richness. All right, once sauce begins to thicken up, then we're going to add kale in and add our duck back in. Stir everything. I'm just going to cook everything to heat it through. Taste it for seasoning, but it's pretty much our sauce. We need to bring a pot of water to boil so we can cook our pasta off. For today's recipe, we're going to use pappardelle. It really carries the flavors of the sauce really well. Pasta's nice and tender. And throw it into a warm bowl. Add in a few ladles of our bolognese. Also add in a ladle of pasta water, some cheese, and a little bit of butter. Toss this all together. Really nice dish, a lot of flavor to it, and I think it goes really well with uh, our Two Creeks Pinot Noir. One of the things that's really nice about this wine is there are the silky tannins of it. It's a really nice mouthfeel to it. Sort of the richness of the pasta, richness of the sauce, and the duck. It marries really, really well with the wine. To get the recipe or learn more about Cake Bread Cellars, visit us on our website at cakebread.com. Cheers.